Civil engineering professor Eugene O'Brien examines the theme of sustainable transport which includes the dynamic interaction of trucks with bridges and roads. We have a big problem with freight transport uh, in Europe. It's growing at about 3.5% a year. It doesn't sound like much but that actually accumulates quite a bit over time. It's basically doubling the number of tonne kilometres of freight that's transported, it's doubling every 20 years. So you can imagine what you'll have in 20 years time, you'll either have twice as many trucks or you'll have twice as many roads or you'll have twice as big of trucks. So we really have some huge problems coming up. Rail is not really working very well. Rail is growing by 1.1% a year. It's about 10% in 10 years. It's, it's, it's really not going to solve the problem. There's a lot of passenger rail in Europe which interferes with freight rail. Passenger rail is much faster. Uh, and a slow train mixing with fast trains doesn't work very well. What we need to do is we need to find something that combines the advantages of road with the advantages of rail. So rail is, is environmentally friendly. Uh, you can use uh, mains electricity, which can be wind powered, for example. Uh, it's got very low resistance because you've got steel rolling on steel, a steel wheel rolling on a steel track. Uh, road is much more fuel hungry and it's using uh, fossil fuels. Uh, so we need a combination of the two. So what we're looking at now is things like convoys of trucks or, or very, very long streams of trucks. They'll be a couple of centimetres apart, so they'll be acting like a train. So these convoys could be very fuel efficient. They could even use mains electricity if mains electricity was provided overhead. And we're working on very low rolling resistance, uh, so you'd have very hard tyres and very hard roads, so you'd have a very smooth ride. We're looking at bridges and seeing that what's the worst combination of trucks that might be on them. Uh, we have, we we're involved in several European projects, but one looking at convoys. Professor O'Brien and his team have also shown the benefits of sustainable infrastructure. We've discovered that bridges are a lot stronger than we thought they were. They were able to carry a lot more load than we thought they could carry. So if we can understand better how safe they are, if we can calculate better how safe they are, then we can push, go a little bit closer to the edge without risking safety. So we can get more life out of them. We can, we can prove that they can last another 10 years before they need to be replaced. And that's getting more for less. That's saving the environment because we're using less non-renewable resources and we're saving money at the same time. And we're working on new innovative solutions to transport that combine the advantages of road and rail.